फ्रेंड्स 427 डेज ओवर इन नॉर्थ द यूक्रेनियन मिलिट्री इज कंटिन्यूइंग attacking russian targets which includes infrastructure energy sector and military targets in belgor road and other russian regions in kharkov region the battle lines starting from kupiansk to liman is very active the russian forces were able to capture a small establishment karmazi nivka which is 13 km southwest of swatovo In South Kherson region the situation along Dnieper river continues to escalate the Ukrainian forces are continuing sending reconnaissance groups and probing Russian forces defense on the left bank where they claim to have established a firm bridgehead being denied by the Russians however they have been video confirming that russians have been shelling this so called bridgehead very heavily confirming the claims of ukraine nothing special in zaporizhia as far as ukrainian spring offensive is concerned is still awaited maybe it is delayed till next month in eastern bakhmut front pro ukrainian channels claim that bakhmut holds which is true though they also agree that situation is deteriorating and the exit road is under direct fire of the russian forces atgms and artillery while isw has said that the pmc is moving in southwest direction of bakhmut khromov is under attack but however there are reports that in north north east of khromov the ukrainian forces carried out counter offensive and regained some of the lost lands in kromov region there are conflicting news one says that pmc wagoner had entered kromov and fight is going on within it however there are other reports claiming that pmc could reach only on the outskirts of kromov and have also moved towards krasnoye but nothing much has been gained so far by the russian forces or the pmc wagoner of divka city no changes however in north the russian forces have managed to move west of h20 and regained the railway again which was taken over by the ukrainian forces in spurne direction fierce battle continues since several months well in overall the russians are continuing their old age tactics and strategies of cautious assaults on north and eastern direction while using their interdictions as much as possible while the ukrainians defensive offensive continues to be pretty successful in retarding the russian offensive using their artillery and uavs and of course deep dug in in trenches all along the border in the meantime nato secretary general stoltenberg met georgian prime minister and promised political and practical support including military in case georgia pushes with reforms well if you understand reform it is not for the people but for the capitalist class for which indian people are paying heavily so were brazilians and world over massive protests in many countries continuing like in israeli cities lebanon against deteriorating social and economic situation sweden against entry into nato france etc in one american online survey it was found that 70% of the americans do not want to see biden running again for presidential and the previous president donald trump has said that biden is the most corrupt president in us history and south africa has declared that it will pull out of international criminal court after the latter issued putin's arrest warrant decision was taken by its president before the start of brics summit in june in south africa Yes BRICS has become a very important entity today which it started only as an economic block 
to counter the US monopoly and oligarchs control over the world market and now it has turned into a political entity where more than a dozen new members have applied to become its permanent member and lastly see what zelensky says he said world news russia can be stopped russia must lose world cannot have another goal well that's the end of my talk today friends see you tomorrow